Hello and welcome back to Riley Plays Violin. Today we're going to be doing a comprehensive review of the Ricard Bunnell Edge Electric Violin. This product can be bought on Amazon or on the Kennedy Violins website. I'll leave a link in the description to those websites. So I'm just going to start the video by showing you guys what it comes with. It comes with these nice headphones here. You can adjust them to fit the size of your head. I found that they're pretty comfortable. This is the amp that it comes with. There is an on and off switch here. There's a tone switch here. And there's the volume switch there. There's the input. And there's the output for your headphones or maybe even another amp. I'm going to show you guys the outside of the case now. There's a lock here. Here's the handle. They also send you this nice little card here to put your name, number, and address in if you lose it or somebody steals it. There's also a slot here on the back to put the exact same thing into. They have some little plastic things here so you don't ruin the outside of the case. They also have it on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. It also has a pouch on the outside here to put your books, your amps, or your pedals into. Let's open it up now. There are slots for two bows. This is the bow that it comes with. It's made of Brazil wood. There is a hygrometer here to measure the amount of humidity you have in your case so you can keep your violin in perfect condition. Here is where you can keep your cables or your rosin, anything like that. There's also a space here for your shoulder rest. Now here is the actual violin. Now I'm going to talk about the features of the violin. There are three switches here to control your volume and your tone, which I have found is pretty nice to be able to control it right there on stage and make necessary adjustments. There are two output jacks here, one for a headphone, one for an amp. The four fine tuners here are very, very easy to use. I've had no problem with them. The tuning pegs, though, I have found it's pretty hard to tune with. The strings that came with it, I believe, were Prelude. I'm not a fan of them, but they will work if you have to use it. Now we're going to go over the accessories the violin came with. It came with the Brazil wood bow. It is a usable bow, but if you have another bow, I would recommend using that one. The headphones I have not had no problem with. They work perfectly fine. Here is the amp that it comes with. The first one that they sent me was broken. It did not work at all. The second one they sent me worked for about two weeks and then it broke. If you are planning on purchasing this violin package, definitely have another amp because it's going to break at some point. These are the two pedals that you can purchase separate from the violin. This one is a phaser pedal. It gives your violin a wah-wah sound when activated. This is a heavy metal pedal. It basically puts your violin into overdrive. These have worked perfect for me. I have no complaints about them except that the pads that are on them fall off very, very easily because there's only like four dots of glue on there. I believe they have come out with two new ones since I purchased it. I know one of them is a delay pedal. I do not know which one the other is. I definitely recommend buying these with it. They definitely enhance the experience. I'm going to let you guys hear the violin. I'm going to play a pretty quick G major scale in both clean and overdrive just so you guys can hear what it sounds like, but the audio recording I have isn't great because I'm using a GoPro to record right now. And for those of you wondering, this is the amp that I'm going to be using since the one that they sent is broken. The Starcaster here, I bought this used for about $30. It's a pretty nice amp, it works perfectly fine. I'll let you guys make your own decision on how that sounds. Alright, this is Overdrive. <laughs> Overall, 
I'll give the violin a 10 out of 10. I've found that it's very, very easy to use and it's very, very customizable with the way that you play. I give the package an 8 out of 10 because of the low quality of the amp and the average quality of about everything else that came with it. But for the price, it's very, very good. You can pick it up for around $350 off of Amazon or at kennedyviolins.com. I'll leave a link to both of those in the description. Do not forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Also leave any questions about the violin that I did not answer in the video and I will most likely respond to all of them. I'm also open to recommendations on how I can improve playing myself because I'm an amateur violinist. Have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next video.